Right, hello again. I'm back with the schematics for this new uh, arrangement. And uh, it's showing some quite good results. At the moment, uh, the input voltage 527, that, that's dropping because the rotor's not actually going. The driver uh, for the uh, but the rotor is not actually going. So, um, and there you go, the voltage there, because I've just stopped it, is dropping like a stone. So we can see that, and there's the input voltage, that also is dropping. But the only difference is, I've added a supercapacitor um, where the dead battery should go, and I've put a uh, C1 there capacitor which is a 25 volt 2200 UF um, there it is there um, and that's it I've lowered the I've put a 2N4401 instead of the uh, the, the quadruple 2A and on the coil here you can have up to a thousand turns you can do do what you want the charger I have is a, is a capacitor these LEDs uh, give it more power I might be able to put more um, I might be able to put a, a diode in there I might even be able to remove that resistor to see if I get any more power as well but just to show you, there's the new super capacitor. It's a it's a mangle. I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm just going to show you the results. That's all. Um, but here, as I start the rotor, and that is powered by USB again by the hacked uh, USB cable, the red and, and black wire um, only. All the rest can be cut away. Um, on a standard S schoolgirl circuit SSG so and here we are I'm spin, spinning it and this is the uh, input voltage primary and you can see it's going up slowly but surely also It jumps all over the place, but you can see that is clearly going up as well. And as the voltage increases in here in the supercapacitor, um, and it'll only go up to uh, just above 800 millivolts. But um, if I had a larger coil, I'd get a little bit more. So uh, yeah and that is still rising nicely the the power seems to go up exponentially you know so in relation to the primary there we go we're gonna so it's gone beyond and the primary is still charging and again that's all it is, it's just a basic these lights, these LEDs, they seem to need to be on there because um... and they will get brighter and brighter and brighter as well and, until it reaches full full induction, full potential <coughs> so there you go I'll show you one more time the the um, I'm not sure if it's going to come out. Hopefully it will. But that's the whole thing. That's just the Bedini mo uh, uh, the Jewel Thief. And the, the, on the toroid, the blue wires. Add them a smaller gauge and less turns. Yeah, less turns. 
on this toroid, on the toroid that I've done, there's 10 on the blue, which is a 0.40 gauge wire, and 20 on the red, which is a 0.50 odd gauge wire. So, and, and you do that, and you get a you've got a kind of ramp up effect the um, power requirements from the battery are much less as well the drain is way way slower so if you do it like that then uh, you'll always get a slower slower drain rate and uh, I think that's happening uh, helping to charge the super capacitor here so there you go, the uh, voltage is still climbing and now we're nearly at 3 volts and uh, it's looking good thanks for watching